Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest 2. And on this episode, we're going to go ahead and talk to this NPC right in front of us. Uh, we are grouped with Kevin uh, still, and we're doing these quests pretty quick, and it's uh, a whole lot of fun to have somebody to join you. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and see what the last quest, uh, preferably the last quest, because he's already had us do, I think, like seven or eight already. Uh, so let's see what he has to say now. Uh, and I can't do it while well, I'm invisible. He's working on his skill, and so I have to cancel well, that. Matt. Ha 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 ha! I win! I found out how to kill them. Uh, do you still need the Ariok uh, Not Tree leaves? Uh, yes, that's where the power comes from. I'll just mix these up real quick. Okay. There we go. Take this spray out to Nightshade Bog and destroy them. It's a simple to use. Just point and click, and things die. Things or mushroom things. Yeah. Finally, level 18. Uh, you will get a uh, Lucent Gem of Fortitude, adds to the following 20 health. Uh, item type is Hands, Ears, and Wrist. Slot type is White Adornment Slot, and it's level 1. Again, you want to use these when you get them. You're going to get so much better stuff at higher levels, and most of the ones you won't even want to use White Adornments. They don't even have a White Adornment Slot. And if they do, you're going to have, you know, 10 times, if not more than that, uh, better gems at that point so just go ahead and use them at this low level and get uh, your, your use out of them because they're going to be worthless later on uh, you'll also get 19 silver and 12 copper as well as the shades nebulox uh, tunic treasure no trade 10 agility chain armor for your chest mitigation 83 level is 18 and all scouts again if you're playing a caster you're going to get caster gear instead uh, let's go ahead and don't worry it's harmless to use uh, I'll see you when you return. The best part about it, you infect one and he spreads it to the other before dying. You shouldn't need to hit too many with the spray before we're taken care of. Uh, well, that's a relief. Pretty sure it's not going to go as as planned. It's probably going to make things worse. So let's see uh, the blaster. Let's put this down here and uh, head over to the bog. That's going to be kind of cool. Let's uh, get rid of in this because I think it slows us down yeah it slows us down a little and I need to destroy uh, ten of them with this device let's see the grab a whole bunch of them I mean they're just all over the place so it shouldn't be that hard to use granted we're probably gonna have to stay here a little bit longer because I don't think he'll get the updates when I zap one and I probably won't get the update when he zaps one so there we go did it do anything? Killed him. Uh, this is this is not going to work. I mean, this is going to turn out bad somehow. It's going to seem like it does, and then all of a sudden we're going to create like some giant mutagen mushroom that's even harder than the original ones. Uh, you're just better off leaving nature alone, most parts. But yeah, I'm not getting the update for his, and he's not getting the update for mine. Uh, so if there's more than one person here, whether they're in your group or not, you may actually have to wait for respawn. Because as you can see, you do kill them when you use that, and they die uh, really quick. And then you have to wait a couple seconds. I mean, the, the respawn down here in a, in a newbie area is usually pretty quick. Uh, is that guy dead? I guess he could get that guy. And I don't think you can use it on the named, uh, but I'll kill him anyways because whoop, get some nice uh, armor off of him occasionally. Granted, we've been getting the same pair of pants off of him the last like seven or eight times, but as I said before, you can kill this guy a hundred times and never get the rare loot, and then all of a sudden, boom, you got it. You know, it could be one in a thousand, but he does have different loot on him. Uh, Radiant Elder Rustic. Yeah, it's the same stuff I've been getting. Oh, there you go. A sharpened wooden stake. Lore equipped. Seven strength, seven agility, six stamina. And it's a charm slot. So that's kind of nice. That's uh, the rare right there. So we'll go with greed. And uh, let's see. He won the sharpened wooden stake. He was mentioning earlier he felt bad because he wins everything on the randoms. And I was telling him that every MMO that I've ever played my dice are completely loaded in reverse I I never win on randoms ever 
So it's it's something I'm very used to. I'm not. Uh, I don't hold it against anybody. It's nothing t that he can do about it. I mean, it's supposed to be random. It's supposed to be, you know, I win half of the time. He wins half of the time. But when it comes to me and my luck, uh, I win like maybe one percent of the time, if that. So, you know, I'm used to it by now. <clears throat> Although I, I wish, you know, I could get some better items occasionally on my higher level creatures, or higher level uh, characters, when I'm really, really, really wanting that item, but. You know, after a certain point, you just accept the fact that you're never, ever going to win if you have that kind of luck, so. It's amazing, though, when you do win. It's a great feeling. Uh, great, I can't get up there without jumping, so I'm going to have to go all the way around. And you can jump with the space bar. i just uh, a little too lazy to move my pinky over there. There we go. I have destroyed him. I need to return, so... That didn't actually turn out horrible. I thought that was going to be a lot worse than it than it was. I guess he got all the ones he needed. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. It's cool looking at whatever he's doing. I guess he's still working on his, his uh, spells. Because you have certain skills, each spell uses a different skill. And there are a few spells that you will use more often than others. And then there's some spells that you just almost will never use. You may, like, summon bread. I mean, that is something in the first game you use quite a bit if you were cheap and you didn't want to buy food all the time. Uh, but it was a skill that came in handy later on in the game. And if you didn't work on it, you just you had a very, very low chance of having it go off. Or very effective. Well met. How did it go? Can I have my sandwich? Yes, get your sandwich. <laughs> That's all you're worried about. Finally, level 18. Uh, we get our gym, and we get our tunic, which we can't wear just yet because we're not a high enough level. And you see it says condition on the, the armor that I'm wearing right now, and it's 90%. That's because I died. And when you die, you're, the only penalty that you get is that your armor is damaged by 10%, and get a little bit of experience debt. You don't actually lose experience in this game, and you don't have to go back and find your body or anything like that. That's just the extent of uh, the, the penalty for dying. That wonderful. You hear that, Vicar? Give me that sandwich. Anyways, thanks for your help in sorting this out. I appreciate it. Actually, I'm pretty sure everyone here appreciates it. Uh, you're very welcome. Wow, he actually said thank you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and end the episode there. <coughs> Sorry, guys. We're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like these episodes, please hit the like button, subscribe. It definitely helps me grow my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you have any comments down below, uh, feel free to leave them. I, I love to hear from you guys, and if you have any quests that you are having a difficulty with or zones that you want to see in the future, uh, I'm more than happy to do that for you as well. So again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode.